So let's now go towards Johannesburg and let's look at a vertical aerial photograph of Johannesburg. So here what we're seeing is we're seeing Johannesburg and we're looking at Johannesburg as seen from above. And notice now in the insert map what Johannesburg looks like on the topographic map and let's compare it to what we see on the um, aerial photograph. Now let's go a bit closer and now we're going to go to Carlton Center which is roughly about this in the CBD of Johannesburg. And notice here again it's a vertical aerial photograph and what we're seeing is we're seeing directly above and notice how the buildings are standing out and look here in the insert map it shows what this looks like on the topographic map. Notice how the shadows can help us to see um, at what time that this photograph was taken. Because the shadows lie towards the southeast, it tells us then that this photograph was taken in the afternoon. Now let's move further out of Johannesburg and we're going towards um, the sporting precinct and that is Ellis Park area. So can you see, there we see Ellis Park and we see the surrounding suburbs. And notice now in the insert map what Ellis Park looks like on the topographic sheet. Now let's move further and we want to now look at, um, instead of a vertical aerial photograph, let's look now at an oblique aerial photograph, a high oblique aerial photograph. Can you see, we don't see much of the horizon, but what the advantage of an oblique aerial photograph is that we can see the heights of buildings. And so we can see there are tall buildings. We see Carlton Center, there's the tallest building in the picture to the, to the right. And notice how the tall buildings then stand up much bigger, closer to the camera and they become smaller as you move further away from the camera. And notice how the tall buildings block out whatever's behind. And so then you'll need to have a map with you to see what's behind the building so that you can make a comparison between the map and the photograph. Notice here too that the shadow is lying towards the southeast and so therefore this photograph was taken in the afternoon. Now let's go back to Ellis Park Stadium. Now let's get a lower angle. Now can you see now we're looking over the Jeppistown area and we're looking at the stadium itself. Now notice at the lower angle your horizon seems to be stretched out. Okay, our image is cropped so we're not seeing the full horizon but you can see how in the, fore in the foreground the buildings are tall and in the background the buildings are much smaller and you can see you can see much more of the of the landscape because of a lower angle and so therefore can you see with a low angle aerial photograph you can actually even get to see the horizon if the angle is correct now let's make it even lower and now we're coming as close as possible to the the surface as we can and notice now how it blocks off when you make the angle too low especially when you get tall buildings it blocks off your view but yet it helps us to see the height of buildings and so here we see then this is how we can look at aerial photographs and the functionality in Google Earth helps us to see exactly how we can go from a vertical aerial photograph and then move all the way down to an oblique aerial photograph starting with a high oblique and then ending with a low oblique angle photograph.